in fact, to give you an insight in American literature, let, I mean, let's be, let's be very specific about this. If I'm reading a book, if I take a, a, an average American textbook and I've died on physical preparation, not that that word is used because it's not an American term, and I look at the percentage of the book that's dedicated to each of these qualities, what will be the biggest percentage going to which quality? Strength. What percentage of the book will be dedicated to strength? Let's just say 87%. Let's say 87% goes to strength. What would be my next one? And let's just say 6% goes here. What's my next one? And let's just say 4% goes here. And what's my next one? Maybe flexibility. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll get on to that. And I've got my numbers obviously don't add up, but I'm telling you now, I analysed a, a certain textbook published in the 90s, and that's pretty much what I found. And I'm pretty sure the reprints of it haven't deviated too much for it, although I can't say I've tested it. So my model is not consensus-based. In fact, this subject is so suppressed in literature, in America, it is like, inexcusable. And what is allowed to be thought and done is so controlled, and we'll be talking about that in a minute. So that is suppressed, not there. Now, why does, it, and when I say American literature, I literally mean American literature because if I was in an Australian text, it wouldn't be quite like this. However, as everything American, if, just to help you understand globally, because of the influence of Hollywood, I'd suggest, everybody in, a, in the world wants to be like an American. So your model of physical preparation is permeating the world at a fast rate. 